Davi, that piece that you uh, just played on, the Bali kick drum and snare, I'd like you to give me some background on it. Well, Martin, that, that, um, that's several different rhythms and different pieces, but the idea of it is, is working by that vocabulary, like meta, fochango, and all these other rhythms into, into the timbal set, into a Latin jazz type of feel. The first feel I did was that, that's a rhythm that I just did recently for the conga head. Uh, with my group, and that's a, that's a certain piece that I, I, I wrote, or, or, or the rhythm, that's in different odd meters. I did a meter of five, a meter of four, so it's combining different meters. You can either count it as a big nine, or as a bar of, uh, of two, of three, two of four, depending on the melody, which that's what happens during the piece. But uh, really what it was, it was just to do bata vocabulary on a timbal set demonstrate the independence and the, the massive amount of rhythm you can create with, you know, adding the, the kick drum and the snare drum. Well, David, you could just as well be talking about nuclear physics as far as I'm concerned. It's all Greek to me. one hell of a piece on Bata. That is quite amazing. And I know 
that this is something that you really pioneered in. Young guy like you pioneered in out of necessity to be able to accompany yourself because you couldn't find Bata players to play one with you. Give me some background on that. That's a real wow. Yeah, that started, um, I was in Cuba and I was studying at the time and I didn't have nobody to really study with. You know, the masters, they, they were teaching or they were busy and so I would find myself studying and not, after I learned all three drums, I'm like, okay, what can I do now? So I just happened to have the three bata, put them on a table and started playing them. But now I was studying the clave and where the clave fit in, fit in these rhythms. So that just sort of came from my drum set independence of playing the, the clave with each limb, with each foot, and being able to do them. And then when I got to New York, I discovered that LP made uh, the great three bata stand. So it was brand new to me. I was really surprised that, that it was something that was already being done when I was really trying to develop it. And the idea for me is to, to make it as, as similar to if there's three people playing. That's the ultimate idea. And keeping it as originally melodic as possible. Now, what I did, I did different rhythms there that combined different odd meters claves. I did clave in four, clave in six, obviously. I did clave in five. So combining these rhythms with odd meters without breaking the vocabulary and making it sound like it's still the same rhythm that you're playing. So that was mostly what I did with three buttons. Well, thank you, Debbie, for your virtuosity. My pleasure, Martin.